Welcome to Arizona Living. I'm your host, Danielle Lerner, and today we're at the Crayola Experience in Chandler showing you this one-of-a-kind family attraction. But before we start exploring, here's a look at what's coming up on the show. Getting your pet some much-needed exercise. If your finances are a struggle because you can't work, there is help for you. Plus, design advice from American Furniture Warehouse. That and much more coming up on Arizona Living. We're here at the Crayola Experience in Chandler, and I'm joined by Mallory Clark, the marketing manager here. Mallory, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Well, this is just a wonderful spot for families, but for anyone out there who hasn't had the pleasure of visiting yet, what can they expect when they come to Crayola Experience? Crayola Experience is Arizona's colorful family destination. We basically bring the magic of Crayola to life. And there are so many things to do in here. I'll admit, when I first walked in, it was like, where do we go first? Talk a little bit about some of the most popular activities you guys have here. Yeah, we have over 15 unique attractions for you to immerse yourself in, uh, and all of them are really popular. Uh, but to name a few, the Wrap It Up, wrapping and naming your own crayon, and starring in your own coloring page with our Be A Star are among the favorites. We also switch out crafts every month, uh, have different takeover events, uh, and much more. So of course, making your own crayon and naming your own crayon is a big draw, but you have a lot of interactive, really unique experiences here. Uh, what are some things that families can do together? Yeah, we have our stomp and play. It changes uh, on the ground to different pictures and when kids like to stomp and <laughs> it'll change water uh, or confetti and like different things like that. We also have our melt and mold, which is probably one of my favorites. Uh, getting to melt a crayon into like a different shape is always really fun and we switch those out uh, with different themes that we have going on. Really it's a new experience every time you come here. So what sorts of special events do you guys have planned coming up? I'm so glad you asked. We are partnering again with Kubota Tractor Co. bringing you a raceway takeover. Uh, it's inspired by Kubota and NASCAR. So kids will be in the driver's seat as they climb into real Kubota equipment, get to be their own broadcaster for a race car race, uh, and they get to color on uh, toy cars, Kubota toy cars, uh, and so much more. Something else I noticed when we walked in is there's some Crayola history in here too, which is really cool. Um, you have some, some information about kind of the early days. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think the best part about being in the space is there's so much history, being able to be more informed as to what Crayola is. Uh, and just that nod to, you know, the 64 count crayon box. I feel like everybody remembers that time, getting to pick out your first Crayola crayon box, opening them up, that smell brings you back to that childhood memory, that core memory, and I just think that's really exciting. And it's got to be fun to see, you know, different generations here For together, sure. you know, all, all remembering and all experiencing that. Yeah, it's really just a family destination to be able to come in, enjoy it together, and create those memories that are just long lasting. One other thing that I love about Crayola Experience is you guys aren't just a fun place to go, but you're really involved in the community, particularly in supporting schools and teachers. Talk a bit about that. Yeah, Crayola is really number one when it comes to teachers and backed by them. Uh, we recently did a, a collaboration with um, uh, partnering with teachers, over 2,000 uh, over the five locations that we have entered to be able to have a 64 second, a nod to our 64 count <laughs> crayon box, of course. shopping spree, kind of shopping till you drop uh, for their classroom. And we got to match those proceeds as well. That's great. And I know you also have field trips coming through here. You also said you do birthday parties? Yeah, we have a birthday party room. So if you have a birthday coming in the summer months, we're the place to uh, be for that. And also the place to beat the heat. You and I were chatting yes, that this getting... is a busy time as folks are trying to head indoors. So you have some great options. You have the annual pass and, and some other options for families. Yeah, annual pass is really great if you want to go online and check it out at crayolexperience.com slash Chandler. Our store hours there are there as well as other events. Annual passes are great because you get exclusive access to our annual pass holder nights. So you get to see events uh, that are not open to everybody else yet. What is it like when you see those kiddos, those families 
come through the door for the first time. I mean, I imagine their eyes must just light up. It's really exciting. I especially like to see the parents get to interact with uh, all the games and attractions that we have on the floor and get to have that inner kid come out. Yeah, it's really that family experience. Yeah. Mallory, thank you so much for the information and for having us out here today. If you would like some more information on Crayola Experience, just head to their website. If your dog needs more exercise or just needs to burn off some more energy, then you need to call Run Buddy Mobile. This mobile dog gym is a great way to help your furry friends get healthy and happy. All dogs were bred to do a job, and it's one of the aspects of their life that they miss. Most people walk their dog around the block and think that's enough, but it never engages the dog's mind, so the dog is lacking mental stimulation. So when the dogs are working out on the non-motorized treadmill, there's a level of focus and almost like triggers them into work mode. Even though it's not the job they were bred to do, it's still a job to them, and we see the effects across all breeds, no matter what they were bred to do, they just really enjoy having a job. My name is David Lopez, and I'm the owner and creator of the world's first mobile dog gym, Run Buddy Mobile. Run Buddy Mobile is a climate-controlled mobile dog gym, and we customize the fitness session according to your dog's current abilities and their goals. So we're able to adjust the workouts for high-energy dogs, overweight dogs, senior dogs, pre- and post-surgery. We also do a lot of work with reactivity and aggression. We donate a portion of every run to running dogs at shelters and rescues, and we really see the effects on being able to not only rehabilitate the dog's body, but to get their mind right, to allow them to then show them true selves, get them adopted, and in hopes of not being returned, which is a huge issue in rescue. So stage one is just getting the dog introduced to the treadmill, making sure that they're comfortable and open to learning. And then you'll see a dog, stage two, start kind of pick up the pace, start kind of looking around, and then that's where we try to figure out what triggers the dog. We're not there to bribe the dogs, we're there to build up the dog's mental confidence. And then we get to stage three, like you're gonna see with Ocho, where he's just booking it full speed. The fitness session is customized to every single dog, so it's not like one dog likes squeakers, you're not gonna squeak it in a dog that doesn't like it, you're gonna move on and use the other tools in your bag. It's a different level of cardio that you reach when it's a structured workout. I often compare it to riding your beach cruiser around the block with your family or going to a spin class where it's structured and you know there's somebody screaming at you or cheering you on to go faster. It uses a different set of muscles, so we reach a different level of fitness, especially focused on building up their back legs and hips, which will help promote long-term mobility in a dog, something that doesn't happen on a flat ground walk because dogs were just simply not designed to walk at our pace as their only form of exercise. We have a very high energy dog, as, as you will see, and uh, he needs a lot of exercise. We just recently had him to, at the vet for his checkup, and the vet was amazed. They did all his you know, testing with his blood and everything, and looked at his weight and everything, and they said, he's in incredibly good shape. And we actually gave a plug to, to Run Buddy, because we said, I'm telling you, it, it's, it's this Run Buddy that we do every other week. He's just, it's, it's really helped him in every aspect of his life. We have recommended to every friend, family, anybody who will listen to us, we are a poster child for this uh, company. We can't say enough. If you're interested in booking or reading a little bit more about Run Buddy Mobile, you can check us out at runbuddy.com. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know the first box of Crayola crayons was produced in 1903? It was an eight pack and cost a nickel. Amazing that more than 120 years later, it's still fueling imaginations everywhere. But don't get too carried away just yet. Here's what's coming up on the show. How the Arizona Diaper Bank is helping the community and getting assistance with your finances if you're not able to work. Get an as-is cash offer within 24 hours. Call Hubster at 602-833-HOME. That's 602-833-HOME. Diaper Bank has been serving families since 1996. Its mission is to support the neediest and most vulnerable populations.
Dr. Brinker got its start in a law firm owned by Demetrius and Hilde. They really wanted to do something to give back to the community, so they decided to initiate a diaper drive. Over the last three years, I've seen the demand increase. My welcome party was the beginning of COVID. So, you know, coming in during that time uh, of a national pandemic, the request for services has went through the roof and we thought we'd see them kind of decline by now, but the need is still there. The idea behind the diaper bank is to really make sure that we address diaper need and provide a social safety net for those who can't afford diapers, period products, and incontinent supplies. No, the diapers we supply are for emergencies. This isn't designed to be a permanent stopgap. It's designed to be an emergency stopgap for individuals who need it, just until they can get back on their feet. I think the biggest misconception about this type of need is that it's easy to get diapers and that families only need newborn diapers. I think another one is that older adults don't need diapers because they're retired and they've got retirement or social security. But the reality is, given our present state of our economy, it's even more difficult for baby boomers to secure those type of resources. We try to make it as easy as possible, as painless as possible. For us, it's all about providing dignity for all of Arizonans. Period Products is our newest program, and one in four girls miss school because of their inability to secure feminine hygiene products. So we make that possible because education is important. And it's, it's a shameful thing when a student has to miss school because they can't afford a, a basic necessity. What you see behind us is only a 60-day supply of diapers. While this warehouse looks full, it only lasts us 60 days because you have to keep in mind we do cover the entire state of Arizona. We receive donations or we purchase diapers. We have a group of volunteers that will come and we call it bundling or a bundling party. They break down the cases of diapers and put them in packs of 10 and rebrand them with our logo just so that people know where they came from. But the reason we also break them down and rebundle them is we give 50 diapers per family per month. So a family can come once a month to get the 50 diapers. So we have a lot of different volunteer opportunities. You can volunteer to host a diaper drive. Those are very common. That's how we get our donated products or services. Individuals want to come in and do a bundling party, help package orders. There's more than one way to volunteer, whether you want to come and sit at our front desk and help do distributions to our end users, or you want to come in and help pack go bags, as we call them, or period products, or rebundle or host a diaper drive. We're always open for those opportunities and there's a huge need for them. Our fall event is called Dancing with the Stars of Tucson. We solicit local celebrities and pair them up with a professional dancer and it's a good time and we raise a lot of money. We put this gala together to continue to do the work we do. Every dollar we raise is reinvested back into our warehouse to purchase products and get things out to the people that need them. If you want more information, visit us online, diverbank.org. Get involved, we'll be happy to connect with you. If you're in a situation where you're not able to work, getting financial help can be difficult. The experts at Sleppy and Ellickson are there to get you the benefits you deserve. My name is Eric Slepian. I am the managing partner at Sleppy and Ellickson. Social Security Disability is a program that helps people that are no longer able to work. So one of the most common myths about Social Security Disability is that you have to be age 66 or 67 in, in order to qualify. And that's not accurate. This program is really designed for individuals that are under that age. You can get benefits if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s. You may be entitled to a monthly benefit as well as medical coverage. Disability benefits come with a financial benefit, of course. It's the way to pay the rent or the mortgage when you're unable to work. They come with health benefits that someone may have lost when they dropped out of the workforce, and it really gives them a chance to get better. So the firm was started more than 45 years ago by my uncle, and we used to talk about how these individuals would come before him while he was a judge and explain why they can't work. And he realized that he could do more good working the other side, helping the individuals get the benefits that they need. And I've seen his passion, and it grew within me, and that's what we're dedicated to. We want to help people to fight the government in order to get the benefits that they're entitled to. So our clients prefer working with us as opposed to a national firm because Sleppy and Ellickson is rooted in this community. We've been in Phoenix for 40 years. We've been serving the state of Arizona for a very long time. We're here locally where you can come in face to face and get the help that you need. We have helped doctors, lawyers, professional athletes, construction workers, servers. It doesn't matter the profession. We want to help you. Our fees are reasonable. We don't charge a fee until we win. I'm board certified in Social Security Disability. 
I'm admitted to the federal courts here in Arizona. I'm also admitted to the United States Supreme Court. You should not have to fight the government alone. One thing that we hear all the time from our clients is that we care. You know, these are people that are often not listened to. You know, sometimes the stress of not working has a really negative impact on just their day-to-day -day functioning, how they function with their families and their community, uh, and they need someone to help. And a lot of folks have been out of work for a period of time, they don't feel heard, they don't feel believed or listened to, and we do that for our clients because we fight for them at all these levels of adjudication, we care about them, uh, and we want to get them the benefits that they deserve. There's nothing that gives me more joy than winning a case and looking at my client and getting that appreciation. Many of my clients realize that this is what they need to keep a roof over their head and to get the medical benefits that they deserve. We're here to help you get your life back. Give us a call. Let us help you apply for Social Security Disability Benefits today. With 20,000 square feet of space, the Crayola Experience in Chandler is a wonderful family attraction. It is self-guided, so you can go at your own pace, but definitely allow at least a few hours so you can get through all of the activities. Here's what's coming up ahead on Arizona Living. We show you the role Lake Pleasant plays in Arizona's water supply. And American Furniture Warehouse has advice to update your man cave. Explore the Southwest style that makes the Grand Canyon State so unique on Arizona Living. Host Danielle Lerner takes to the road to showcase the people, places, and culture at the heart of our state while offering up some exciting ideas for your next getaway. Pleasant is a popular summer destination, but as you're about to see, it also plays a key role in the water Central Arizona project delivers to Arizona residents. Well, most Arizonans know about Lake Pleasant. It's a great place to water ski, to boat, to camp, to fish, but it has a very important additional role in the Central Arizona project system because this is our regulatory storage. This is where water can come off the Colorado River and can come into this great lake and then be used in the summertime when people really need the water. Now the source for this uh, lake is two things. It's the Agua Fria River, which runs right into the lake. And then it's the Colorado River, which is nowhere near this lake, but serves Lake Pleasant through the reversible Waddell Canal. So there's a rather unique water source that in the wintertime and in the early spring, it's coming into the lake. And then in the summer, it reverses and it's going out of the lake in order to serve all of central Arizona. Those of us in the Colorado River Basin have been affected by climate change seriously. In the last 23 years, we've had the longest running drought in 1,200 years in this basin. We've taken most of the cuts from the Colorado River. So Lake Pleasant plays a particularly important role now because it allows us to bring water when we can from the Colorado River, store it in Lake Pleasant, and then to be able to release it to the central part of the state where 80% of the Arizona population resides. That gives us a sense of reliability in a time of real uncertainty. Lake Pleasant wasn't always this big, but when it was decided to be the center of the Central Arizona Project for regulatory storage as well as recreation, they took the old Waddell Dam down in the late 80s, and in 1992 it was finished, and the lake grew to five times the size that it was when they started. So it's a greater recreation area, but it certainly serves the, the, the Central Arizona Project as regulatory storage in a very important way. Well, Lake Pleasant is, is a key location on the Central Arizona Project system. Most of the water that's delivered is after Lake Pleasant uh, going south to Tucson. So it forms a very important system storage right there and we're able to bring extra water in the wintertime when power rates are lower and we can take it off the Colorado River, store in Lake Pleasant, and then when the big demands come in the summertime, then that water gets released. We get some hydropower from 
the new Waddell Dam, but we also save a tremendous amount on the power cost. But more important, I think, we're able to provide a secure and dependable source of water for Central Arizona because of this lake. Well, for more information about Lake Pleasant, you can go online to knowyourwaternews.com. Don't go anywhere. We have more coming up on Arizona Living from the Crayola Experience in Chandler. Ways to spruce up your man cave. Explore the Southwest style that makes the Grand Canyon State so unique on Arizona Living. Host Danielle Lerner takes to the road to showcase the people, places, and culture at the heart of our state while offering up some exciting ideas for your next getaway. Experts at American Furniture Warehouse are showing us how to create the perfect man cave. We've got some great ideas to create the best man cave for your special guy. The awesome bar area is always a win to serve your favorite snacks and drinks. The gaming area is used to place your bets and use your best skills. The conversation circle is a cool place to hang out with your friends and debate your favorite teens. And finally, our theater area has the best seats in the house for watching your favorite teams and for having the best overall entertainment experience. You can find all these great man cave ideas and more at American Furniture Warehouse or AFW.com. We want to thank everyone here at Crayola Experience for hosting us. We'll see you next time on Arizona Living, where we help you live an inspired life.